formerly people uh, were not taking the industry you know on a certain level in terms of money mm. there were some firms that <laughs> if I tell you how much I was paid for Kukuran TV, you will laugh your head wow. off. Today it will be six pesos. Wow. Yeah. It will be six pesos because it was six, six thousand CDs. Wow. 1983. You know. And today it will be, it will be, it will be uh, what? Six pesos. Six pesos. Wow. No, six CDs. Six CDs. Six yeah, CDs. Six CDs. Yeah. You know. Um, and we were we were happy to 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 be in the film without pay. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't get paid. Not 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 being paid per, per se, but the idea of having the opportunity to be on the screen, you know, was what you know uh, we enjoyed, and we enjoyed it because. They, they, it gave us the opportunity to express ourselves. It gave us the opportunity to, so to speak, pursue our passion. You know, and so we were very humble and we, we were ready to learn so much so that you know, uh, a director will coach you at times even rehearse a scene with you before it is shot but now it's not like that and those days too most of us who were in film were from theater some had done radio theater some had done stage theater some had done television theater you know uh, 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 there was this uh, TV theater that uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, I've forgotten. I've forgotten the name of this guy. Get involved. You know there was get involved. The Solomon Sampa, uh, 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 Kai, uh Edna Matachi. Uh, you know all those people. You know were doing TV uh, uh, theater. TV theater and all those people graduated so to speak into film so these were people who had had orientation how to relate to camera the discipline of being on set you don't chat when you're on set you don't you know because the idea is that you are standing by to get into your scene you must be able to focus concentrate and run your scene through your mind before you are called on to your, your set to record. That discipline is not there now. You, know, you go on set these days, you go on set with actors <laughs> and in the next five ten minutes he's coming on set but he's chatting, he's on his phone, he's doing all kinds of you know, he's not concentrating, he doesn't have the discipline because in our industry there's something called standing by. Okay, stand by, yeah. Stand you know, when you are supposed when you are asked to stand by, you you must stand by. And they, they have that term because you must enter your scene in character. That is why you don't stand by backstage like a seventeen year old when you are actually appearing on stage as a thirty year old. You don't stand by on stage as a 50-year-old when you are appearing on stage as 80-year-old. Because you must appear as 80-year-old. So when you are standing by, you must stand by as 80-year-old. So that when you appear on stage, they will see an 80-year-old. It's not like uh, you are standing by uh, you know, backstage as 50-year-old. You are supposed to play a 90-year-old. And then when you appear on stage before you now get into character as a 90-year-old. It's wrong. You know, and that is a discipline that every actor. Those days, I remember this man who played the king and I, uh, Yulbrina. They used to call him Sakura. You know, he played a role called Phantomas. So formally, Sakura 
before Sakura came, anyone who had a bald head or a, a, a skin head, it was called Phantomas. You know, when he's on set, before he gets on stage, if anyone talks to him 30 minutes before he gets on set, he will not get on set. Because he will tell you he's getting into character. He's focusing on his role. He wants to stand by and appear on set as his character. Because he's not going to play himself. He's going to play another person. So he must put all that is needed that he's learned from that character into his demeanor before he appears on, on set. You know, that discipline is also not there. You know. And so it, it's important that a lot of actors actually learn some of these things. The new actors coming. And and they believe in themselves so much because like someone said, most of them are international school, you know, international school peoples. But those who went to Saito, you know, they have already started that discipline from Saito. You know, so once they get into filming, they only continue that discipline. And if you also have had the opportunity of working in theatre or in t television before coming into film, again, you continue with that discipline. So the person, quote unquote, is a more disciplined human being on set. You know, added to that, the, 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 the cameraman, the sound man, the director himself, the whatever, all those people have what it takes to, so to speak, affect the actor with their discipline. The director himself is quiet. So it means that this day is the difference is we are not learning. We are not learning. And we are not even ready to learn. And uh, a lot of them too have not actually learned. And we are just on the screen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> of course, there are people who call extras. The Nigerians who call it walk on part. Where you don't say anything, but you are part of it. But you see, even even in extras are supposed to be people who are trained. That's why you watch American films, you know, other you know developed you know countries' films. You see crowd, people are moving about, and the actor is moving through and whatever. Yet they don't look in camera. But here you see them shooting, and then people are standing by in some corner, and they're all watching, you know. And it is because they allow them, you know. And that's what actually brought about the creation of film studios. Okay, okay, okay. okay. To avoid those things. To avoid those things, and also capture sound, and also uh, uh, work across time, as in daylight and night light. Okay. Okay, David, um, now that you are the chairman for National Film Authority, someone would want to know that what, what is the work of National Film Authority? Thank you. National Film Authority is an authority that has been put in place by an Act of Parliament, Act 935. And their mandate is to regulate the film industry. And by regulating the film industry, they regulate production, marketing, exhibition, Everything that happened in and the classification of film. Okay. So we oversee, so to speak. So the board, for instance, that I chair, we look across the film space and then, you know, uh, formulate policies. And these policies that we formulate are now given to the executive secretary and the administration who run the day-to-day -day affairs of the authority, you know, to implement. And then quarterly, we have, you know, a uh, uh, meeting, you know, for a report on what has gone on, what we've done, and what should, you know, be added, and what we can actually, you know, uh, proceed, where we can proceed from. At that point, you know, on the way forward. So everybody that makes film must bring the film to national film authority to be classified. You cannot show a film to the public. You can make any film and show it in your bedroom. So I mean, the soap operas or the telenovelas on the have, have you people reviewed? Have you been 
has it been brought to you to reveal reveal would be before showing on the screen? Yeah, um, you know we have legislative instrument that gives us the authority to do to interpret the laws of or the articles of the act, you know, uh, to the public. So, uh, especially with film classification, whether it's television or a cinema theatre, whatever you know shows that has been captured already, like music video, like television theatre, or like a series or serial, must be classified because across board. Children watch television. Adults watch television. Um, so you can show a lot of our music videos are adult rated because you see a lot of skin exposure. You know, she's doing music video, but she's wearing something that exposes three quarters of her body. This is for adult consumption. Subscribe to the channel, click on the notification button for more videos, you click the like button and you share. Thank you.